let's have a look at timelines. So I really like timelines. I think it's a good way to present a heavy project into something a little bit simpler. So I, I really like this one and I've noticed it's not often used unfortunately. So for, for this project here, this is still a, s a relatively small project. So it might not be very obvious, but uh, we'll have a look as part of the exercise of the assignment for part two of a, a bigger project and we see how useful it can be. So it's just a matter to, I think I, f I found that useful to present maybe to management, to present to steering committees and the likes. I think that that makes you look more professional instead of just dumping this to everyone and they have to work out uh, what, it, what it is. So you go into view what we removed at the beginning. I know now I'm asking you to put it back because view we have a timeline. So I think the best way to demonstrate it's to probably show an example. So let's say we can drag things. So we take a, a, a task. The easiest way, there's other ways, but the easiest way you take the task and you drag it here. See the plus means it's good to go. What else? Get approval. Let's say I'll drag this. It's quite fun. <laughs> you put it there. Purchase. Put it there. So what it does is, it more or less shows the key task here in a different tab, more in the timeline view. When a, when a group of tasks is completed, put a, a tick here. So that looks good tick here and this one is obviously not completed so it's just showing the, the the point where it stopped here it gives you the high level uh, milestones because I've put them you can put milestones as well you can you can be more granular if you if you like you can for instance drag this one here put it here so it's just you would just put it under uh, for this one might might be a b more uh, explicit and then you put gate here build the gate and the lights so you can play around with this you can uh, change obviously the way it looks you click on the you click on the timeline and you click on format and then you can have you know for instance you can change some components here for instance you can put three lines instead so that allows you to have more more line here you can put a bar label, which is putting a label for each one of the timeline, because you can have several timelines as well on very large project. I find that very useful when you have two large phase and they overlap a little bit, so you would have two timelines. You can obviously change the color here of things. You can, uh, for instance, put this one in, in that color here. Uh, what else can you do? You can change the, the date format if you want to go crazy. There's plenty of things you can do. And then when you print, when you select it, you select it and after you press on print and it just show you the, the timeline and you can only bring that. Obviously you need to do some work to make it look prettier than this. <laughs> but uh, uh, as opposed to when you click here, you go file, you go print, and then I would show you the just this. So we'll print you this. So you can choose which component you, you print more or less. And that's it for the timeline view.